did you see this post last week? Evernote's CEO says, say hello to a refreshed Evernote. Oh, goody, goody. We've been waiting for so long for a refreshed Evernote. Let's take a look at it today on Dottotech. It's not going to be as good as you think. Just saying. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing? This fine day. At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now today on the show, you and I are going to have a wee conversation about Evernote, my favorite productivity app for years and years. I have been probably the biggest supporter of Evernote or one of the biggest supporters of Evernote. So it was with a great deal of excitement that I saw last week that the CEO, Chris O'Neill, uh, posted in the Evernote blog for us to say hello to a refreshed version of Evernote. I rubbed my hands with glee thinking, great. We are going to get some new features in Evernote. We're going to get a new interface. We're going to get some new capabilities in Evernote. We've been waiting a long time and very patient. Hmm. Do you remember when you were a kid, a wee lad or lass, and Christmas morning came and you opened a present that seemed like it was going to be so awesome because the packaging looked so good and you opened it up and you got socks? Chris O'Neill just gave us socks. We were hoping for so much more. The refreshed Evernote is not a new app. Oh, no, no, no. It is a new message statement from Evernote. And, uh, well, I'll show you this line right here. At the beginning of the year, I said that we would concentrate on three areas. To engage, extend, and explore. The, here is what these words mean for our company and our new brand. Engage, extend, and explore. Well, I give them full points for alliteration. A huge fan of alliteration, I am. But I was looking for a new version of Evernote. I wasn't looking for a nice turn of the phrase. Basically, what he does here is he talks through Evernote's new commitment to this new process. Uh, to Farley, go away. Go away. I'm working. Seriously. I'm working. Can you go let me work? Good. Where was I? Alliteration. They've got a new mission statement. Fair enough. I understand organizations, large organizations, evolving organizations have to work their way through mission statements in order to stay on task and to stay on point. That's fine. It's, it, and, it, and I don't mind them sharing it with us, but when they share it with us after we've been waiting for so long for a new version or some new capabilities or some much needed uh, upgrades to an app, this is a little bit frustrating to see. And then he goes on to say we should read a medium post. This is the medium post that he wants us to read, which is... Uh, a post that they've written that says, ever better, get it, the, the plan where it's Evernote, ever better, refreshing the Evernote brand. And they didn't refresh the app, they refreshed the brand. And look, there's a nice picture of two people high-fiving with a bunch of Evernote potpourri floating around in the background. This post in Medium drove me crazy because... They go on and on about how, based on their new focus and the three important words, oh, there's more alliteration here. The DNA of a brand, optimistic, clever, confident, and clear. Do they know optimistic isn't a, uh, uh, a C word? What, what C word can we do that's optimistic? We could help them out here. The heart of this post is this graphic right here. They re-envisioned the logo. I'm not kidding. This is it. They went through all the iterations of the logo, the elephant logo, which is a great logo. The elephant has a name. Did you know that? It's Mads. They talk ad nauseum about the design process in determining. Look, this, this was the teaser for the blog post itself, that they increased the ear fold. They softened the eye. They gave Mads a smoky eye to make him or her more approachable? I, I don't know. And I don't care. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, this post could not get any worse. It gets worse. Why does it get worse? They get into typography. 
They start talking about typography. Then they go beyond typography and they talk about the fact that for all of their marketing materials, they're adding little, little, well, you see them up here. You see they're adding all of these little bits and pieces up here, uh, these little accents. It's 2018, Evernote has discovered stickers, but they still don't have the ability for us to password protect a notebook. In these posts, Evernote shares with us that they now have 225 million subscribers, 225 million users who are heavily vested in Evernote. We have been asking as a community since day one, for 10 years we've been asking for some basic features that Evernote has to give us, that people spend hours looking in Evernote, not being able to find, and they're shocked that they can't find it because it's not there. Features like the ability to password protect a note or even more importantly, a notebook. Evernote is a SaaS service. Our information is stored in the cloud. Give us the ability to encrypt and protect our information in the cloud in a safe and reliable fashion so that we can store more sensitive information in Evernote, that we don't have to have a hybrid system where most of our information gets stored in Evernote, but sensitive things get stored elsewhere. Come on, Evernote. This is, this is 101. This, talking about your DNA, Security should be in your DNA. It should be the first thing on every morning when you walk into work, you should be saying, where are we with password protection on our notebooks? Where are we with encryption on our notebooks? And it's wonderful that Evernote goes through and refreshes the logo, refreshes the look. But you know where I'd like a refreshed look? I'd like a fresh way to look at my information. I have almost all of my in digital information stored in Evernote, but I have to look at it in some very pedestrian ways. Take a page from more nimble companies, from Asana or Trello or Scrivener. Give us the ability to lay out our information in a board metaphor so that we can reassemble and look at our data in different ways that gives us better ideas on how to use it. While speaking of the look and feel of your logo, how about a better way for us to be able to compose notes? It's a notebook app, but OneNote kicks your butt as far as being able to compose beautiful documents. If I'm laying out something that I want to look nice and graphically appealing and have lots of different elements within it, Evernote is a nightmare to format rich notes. Other apps do a better job. If Evernote's not careful, they are going to move from being the staple at the heart of productivity systems to a legacy app that people use because they have to use. And this is very important. This is a really important thing, I believe, for Evernote to understand, is with 225 million users, you are a substantial company. But you are also viewed as an innovative company up until quite recently, I would say. You're at the risk of losing that by spending time celebrating which font you're choosing instead of giving us better ways to save, store, and access our information. That's what you should be giving us. Evernote still has some great strengths, but they run the risk of being a legacy app. In other words, the app that you use because you have to use because all your stuff is there, not the app that you use because you want to use it. That is really important. Evernote still has some strengths, as I said. It's still, a, it's still got the Evernote Web Clipper, which is the most brilliant way to vacuum information into your digital brain. It's still got excellent search. The mobile app has a wonderful built-in scanner that has some great integration with other social apps and with Evernote itself. They've got a lot of strengths going for them, and the competitors still haven't caught up. But when my imagination gets fired by creative companies. Now it's tools like Asana. It's my looking at Notion, which I keep, every time I look at it, I say, how close is it coming to being able to be an Evernote replacement? And it's getting closer and closer. I see the more nimble companies being far more compelling as far as the story they're telling and the services that they're delivering to their users. Evernote runs the risk of being stuck in their ways, but the competitors are nipping at Evernote's heels. Apple's Notes is a pretty good app. Google's got a great note-taking app. Those are two big competitors to join up with Microsoft, whose OneNote is in many ways superior to Evernote, and they're all free. Evernote is increasingly expensive. They keep stripping away free features from the free version. They charge a premium amount for their premium account and they aren't innovating.
This lull is concerning. And the fact that they're spending so much energy kind of promoting this rebrand is, in ways, it's kind of almost insulting to those of us who have been such vocal and long-term supporters of Evernote. Give us the tools we need. Give us the tools we're asking for. Honor those 225 million users and fire up our imagination again and to make us excited about using Evernote and taking advantage of new features, new capabilities, new ways to turn Evernote into our digital brain. I feel better. I hope you do too. Now, I'd love to hear your comments on this. This video is a little bit different from our normal videos and the fact that I'm not actually showing you how to do anything, but I am complaining and I, typically speaking, most of our videos are productivity oriented and how to as far as the topic goes, but I think this was an important message to share. And I want to hear what you have to say about it. Are you ready to throw over Evernote? Are you concerned about Evernote? Are you still firmly in Evernote's camp or have you already left? And if you have left, what are you using and how do you like it? I'm dying to see what you have to say in the comments below. Now, if you found today's video to be useful, I have a few favors to ask. First, please share it with others and let them know about our channel. Secondly, if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll hear about any new videos here on Dotto Tech. Until next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.